All right, I've got a discharge air temperature sensor that's having problems. It's at 215. And um, I'm looking at it here on TU, which is nice because I can go and see that it's universal input four on the controller. What this is doing is calling it to be in 100% cooling when it shouldn't be. Um, and you know, the floor would heat a lot better if it wasn't doing this, so we'll try to figure out what's going on. All right, I'm on universal input four. You can see how I'm getting that voltage jumping around. Now, could be open circuit, could be bad connection somewhere. Logic voltage is good and stable, so it must have something to do with the sensor itself. And we're getting a steady ohm reading. Now, this sensor here is probably just a 10kW. When you front probe a connector, you got to be careful you don't spread the terminals, but I, I can feel we're all right. The size of these is about the size of um, the actual pins. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So it stands steady. Yeah, so if we look at our value, about 60 degrees, which is about right. This thing is giving such an oddball signal. All right, I rebooted it. It's still showing a, an alarm of some sort, but it might just be because everything's firing back up. And now my signal is steady. So there's either interference happening when something is running, or you know some kind of shaking is causing some open to show up or short or it had an internal glitch that i just fixed held steady for a while now it's going crazy again weird so we've got enormous blower housing here and here is our discharge air sensor should be anyways and look at all that wiring just flapping in the breeze I mean it could be shorted there there let me see if I can find what's going on but why would you just coil it and throw it down there if you remember, I already did a video on this one for a short inside of these just flapping around. This is crazy. Crazy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me get into it. So this was laying here like this, and the side that was touching the metal, you see where it's rubbed through right there? Yep. That's the problem. I'll have to draw out a circuit diagram and I can show you what this was doing and why. All right, let me get this fixed up. Just messing around in here, found another rub through right here. Was rubbing down on that high voltage wire. Man, this, this is just horrible quality stuff. Just crazy, absolutely crazy. I'm gonna have to get in here and try to fix all this up. What I've done here is taken the foam and wrapped it around the high voltage so that everything is completely isolated. Um, probably fix this up a little better, but 
but um, it, it's just such a fuster cluck of uh, connectors and wires. It, this is just horrible, but um, this is the best it's going to get. You can't redesign the whole unit, or else I would. <laughs> but everything is pretty well isolated. And uh, found another rub through over here. Just crazy, crazy. Got a nice steady signal now. Oh, I think she's fixed.